Hey, what's good, everybody? Hope that you guys are having a great day. All right, you guys, now it's no secret that Alabama has one of the best recruiting classes every single year. And with that being said, you always wonder who is the best player that they're able to pull each and every year? Well, I think pulling the number one player in Maryland, as well as just the number two defensive end in the nation, I, I think that's a pretty good pickup. You add on to the fact that he's 6'5", 235, uh, uh, dude sounds like a beast. So today we're gonna be looking at the University of Alabama's top commit, Iyabi Anoma. So you guys know that Alabama don't be messing around, especially when it comes to picking up their defensive players. So you know that this guy's just gonna be dogging everyone on the field. So I wanna see if this dude's gonna add to Alabama's list of first round defensive picks. So let's just get right into this video. Three, two, one. Psh. All right, so let's see what Alabama's gonna be bringing to the field next year. Let's go. So yeah, I mean, Alabama didn't have their best recruiting year like that they've ever had because they've had some pretty insane recruiting classes. But when, when you're able to pull a top 10 player any year, that, that's a good year. All right, got him standing up. All right, no, go, go hunt him. Go hunt him. Boom, sit down, boy. He's got some quickness too, okay. Locked him up. There you go. Just sealed that edge. I want to see him. I want. I want to see some moves. Ooh, he just bold. He just bullied that dude. Oh, you've got to pick that. You've got to pick that. Literally, that. If a DN can't, did he just pick that? Did he just pick the pitch off? Hey, that. <laughs> Yo, that is insane. Batting the ball up in the air. Great awareness. Let's go. Go get him. Oh, I saw he, he was going. He was going to go for that hack. He was about to go rip that ball out. It's little things like that that you like to see in high school players just because that's one less thing you have to teach at the college level. If you already have a player who knows that when they're hunting a person down to try and rip for that ball, it's just one less thing you have to teach. There you go. I like how he reads the, he actually reads the play. He's not just like bull rushing every time. He's like setting up, making sure that he's actually keeping his, his contain and keeping his zone. And when the ball is released, you know, he just makes a play. Nice swim. Yeah, man, he's he's pressured. Like, honestly, his his corners and safety should have had like so many interceptions because he's pressuring every single quarterback. If he can't get to him, he's pressuring him to make a horrible pass. Ooh. That quickness, though. He got there so fast. Sit down. I'm, I'm just eating that up in the backfield. I like how he's always he's like constantly looking to where he like he actually needs to run like he's not just letting he's not just running after the person like he's trying to see what pursuit angle he needs to take to make the play as soon as possible. You 
see quarter, these quarterbacks are throwing horrible passes just because he's in their face he is literally pressuring them every single play wow if if i'm that if i'm that team's o-line i'm pissed or if i'm that running back uh yeah no wait I don't know what I'm trying to say, but if, if that happened and I was the running back, I would have been pissed if they let that many people come through. Not giving up on the play, not giving up on the play. See you, boy. <laughs> He's just getting after the quarterback. Like, quarterback has no chance at all. Get after him. Boom. Is that a safety? I don't know. Look like a safety. Ooh. Yeah, no. This, this dude's got some, like, for real. Like, he's got some quickness. Ooh, get off me. Oh, you got you got to make that play the first time. You got to make that play the first time. Like, if there's one thing I've noticed about his game, again, I've never played DN, but this is just what I've seen when other coaches at professional level, all the way up to like or college, professional, whatever. He's diving a little bit too deep. Like he's letting that he's letting the tackle take him, not way too deep, but he's letting him take him too deep into the play to where when he's trying to come back, he he has to run back up the field like five yards just to get to the quarterback. If that was a touchdown, that was pretty tight. Bruh, what is this team in Red's O-line doing? Man, this dude is fast. Ooh, nice move. That was so cold. That was so cold. Yo, oh, hold on, hold on. I have to, I have to go back to this. L look, look at the move that he puts on my man. He... Drops him up field, sees the place going the other way, spins back on him. Dude didn't even know where to go. Absolutely froze him. Let's go. Bruh. He's just abusing these people. <laughs> the tackle just pushed him straight into the quarterback. Way to read that. He had the flat, he covered the flat. Fumble? Hey! Man, this play is dark as I'll get out. <laughs> Bro, he just destroyed that tackle inside. Once you let him get two steps uncontested, he's he's already at top speed. He keeps his eye on the play so well. Like as soon, he just threw that dude away. Look at this. Get off me, boy! You're trash! <laughs> Drop back into coverage, boom. I don't think he really knew where the quarterback was throwing it, but he he made an interception happen. Bruh. This dude is blowing up the play before the running back can even get the ball. Nice move, nice fake inside. Ooh, get off me. This dude has got a nice arsenal of moves. I've seen him power through someone. I've seen him fake inside, go outside. I've seen him do vice versa. I've seen him hit him with the spin move, like hit him with the jab and rip. Like, dude has got some moves. 
or the, the push and pull, I think that's what it's called. And I like how even on these plays where like the wide receivers be catching it on the far side of the field, he still runs out there and makes a play. Because normally with DNs, you hear like, oh, like they just make plays when they want to. They're not always going 100 percent. But this dude, this dude's got some nice he's got a nice motor. He keeps on. He just keeps on making plays. Just hunting him down. Running back didn't even know it. He didn't know that he had jaws behind him. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Just the just to even be aware of that though. That was pretty that was pretty smooth. This dude is gonna be something special at Alabama. You know that Nick Saban doesn't mess around when it comes to recruiting. So if he's got this dude going to his school next year, you know he's gonna turn him into something special. Alright, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave this video a like. Yo, can we get this video to 400? Yeah, let's get this video to 400 likes because that lets me know that you guys are enjoying these videos. Also, don't forget to comment down below any other players that you guys want me to see because that's how I know you guys want me to watch so we can help grow this channel. <laughs> and also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you guys can stay on top of all the videos that I am coming out a with <laughs> yeah all right but with that being said hope that you guys all have a great rest of your day and i will catch you guys in the next video Ciao.